Hey folks, it's Nate. And Sean. And uh, we're trying something new this time. Uh, there wasn't a whole bunch of stuff to go on in terms of news, so we thought we would entertain you with a little bit of Uncharted and witty banter rather than news. And we are oh so good at that. Being wrong about the news. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're going to play a little bit of Uncharted uh, co-op. I'm you know, actually going to get started because we have been having a little bit of trouble with the internet. And yes, we gotta get this done before something goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be short, maybe twenty-five minutes to half an hour. But uh, yeah, it's about the time it takes to get through one of these missions. Oh, hey, I'm what's his name? The bald guy. I can't see. Oh, Charlie. Charlie. You no, know, yeah. I gotta tell you. Ever since I got a dog named Charlie, <laughs> every dude on every TV show and every video game is named Charlie. Do they all carry C4 and have charming British accents? Uh, no, but they do tend to jump <laughs> up buildings that are lit on fire. All right. That's manly. For should be in the library, just past the station. You know, it might but distress you to know I still nice haven't played through right? the story mode get in, in this. We get out. Really? Sounds good. I, I really I haven't. I don't know what's keeping me from it, but the only time I ever play Uncharted is for the co-op or just, no, you know, multiplayer no deathmatch. Look, is it too much to ask that just this once we don't get shot at? Yeah, no, we're gonna get shot at. Uh, <laughs> ah! And hiding, Gmall. But uh, yeah, you should totally play the, the the campaign, only only to see like the ridiculous stuff that I complain about. <laughs> Super Nate. Like, yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous. In in the other games, at least, it was somewhat believable that this this you know average Joe managed to get through all these perilous, you know, boulders falling on him and all this stuff and Purple jumping people, out of angry, buildings. Purple people, angry, bald Lazarevich. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, in this, like, he'll just get hit with an RPG and be totally fine in a cutscene. <laughs> just kind of shakes it off like, ah, oh, crap, that hurt. <laughs> yeah. Then I, I guess you really can't complain too much about realism in a game where nicely dressed butlers come up out of smoke. Are these guys ninjas? Oh, well, if you played the campaign, you'd know why they come out of smoke. Because they're ninjas, right? I wish. I truly wish that were the case. <laughs> so they just sharply bet... Hey, whoa, there's a gas mask. Yeah. And he was running towards me. Does he grab? Yeah, gas masks always grab. <laughs> they wear I don't know the what it is. Mask. Maybe Nathan Drake has like horrible B.O. <laughs> but uh right above you I don't know I feel like I'm playing a little bit better I've been playing a lot of uh, Alan Wake which is also a third person I guess you can call it a shooter because you do fire guns but it's more of a uh, survival horror um yeah I guess it's a shooter I mean you do have guns but that's not like the focus of the game the focus of the game is to use light to uh, take out your opponents. Yeah, light um, destroys like their shadowy armor, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I, I still haven't played Alan Wake. I need to get around to that, but oh my gosh, if I could loan you Alan Wake, I so <laughs> would. It looked like a really interesting game from you know all the videos I've seen of it. It's easily one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Xbox 360 game. What exactly Jeez. is it about? I mean. I, it, I've only seen trailers and videos of it. I can't tell what the heck is going on. Okay, so um, this might contain some slight spoilers, but I promise I won't give anything away. Alan Wake is a writer, and he uh, he's currently like, when you start off the game, he's going through writer's block. So his wife takes him on a vacation to an island called or uh, like a little who's I guess a town called. Oh, uh, uh, a town called uh, something or other falls or something. <laughs> yeah, Bright Falls, and uh, uh, it turns he he runs a cabin on a lake, and they go in, and everything's great, but uh, his wife gets kidnapped by a a woman surrounded by darkness. That's creepy. Drags her to the bottom of a lake. <laughs> and, okay. Well, you you find out that. Any work of art that is created uh, in Bright Falls we'll have to find way is manifested 
for some unknown What's reason. What? And oh god, that's C4. Oh, C4. <laughs> <laughs> like a boss, Charlie. Like a boss. Oh, sodding shit explosives. Why didn't that work? A little heads up <laughs> next time. I love the uh, fully well, acted out co op missions. Just charming that they would put little storylines and stuff in. And whoa, gas mask guy. Where I go? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Got him. Oh man, shotgun ready and everything. No. Shit. What you were saying about uh, white balls? RPG, RPG. Um. RPG and white balls. So yeah, no. <laughs> ah. Oh, <laughs> that shot. That was the RPG I was mentioning, but uh, I'll give you the bro hug of life. So Alan Wake has to go around. Uh, <laughs> at first, he he wakes up in a car crash, and you don't remember why you were in a car crash, or even remember getting in the car. You just wake up, and you're disoriented, and there's a giant gash in your head. This all happens right after uh, Alice gets kidnapped. Boss. But um. So you're just like surviving in the woods, and you find these these dudes, and they're covered in darkness, and you can't kill them because you know they're 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 cloaked in this invincible armor of darkness. And you find that if you shed the armor with uh, with like a flashlight or a um, a flare or a flashbang grenade, you know, not conventional weapons, then uh, you can kill them. Thank you. So, uh, you, you go through that, and, uh, crap, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Hey, Ooh, ladies well and gentlemen, us. trying to focus on a, a story review while getting shot at. Well, not only that, <laughs> it's a really convoluted, awesome story, but convoluted. <laughs> Sounds uh, like Metal Gear. Uh, let's see. Survive that. Um, what happens next? Kaboom, that's what. Yes. Oh, nice. Uh. Well, like, the game keeps alluding to, like, maybe you're, you're insane and none of this is happening. <laughs> and there's a, uh, there's a mental help specialist on the island who has a clinic. And he keeps, like, trying to get Wake to write and saying how brilliant he is and things like, whoa, getting shot at. And, uh, no, he doesn't say, whoa, getting shot at. But, uh, <laughs> it turns out that... No, I don't... See, that's a spoiler. Um, Wake keeps finding pages of a manuscript that he wrote that he doesn't remember writing. And everything that, that happens in the manuscript happens to him. On the island. On the island, yes. Hmm. So. I've located a book. It looks important. Drake just learned fire too. <laughs> Here it is. Huge Skyrim spell tomes. <laughs> That's it. They make you smarter. Okay, just to nick a page out of a book. Yeah. Now we know where the monastery is. <laughs> Up there. Ah, uh -oh. smoke grenades. But yeah, it's just the the gameplay is really really oh, clever. The writing is fantastic. And the the voice acting is good. The only thing that irks me, and this is one of my big pet peeves in any game, is that the the mouth or like the facial animations are ridiculously horrible. Like <laughs> it's a complete contrast to the rest of the game. And it is a very story based game, which is why it's such a shame. That like it looks. It's laughable how horrible the facial animations are. So was it kind of like uh, Skyward Sword? No, Skyward kind of Sword's way match. better. <laughs> oh wow, Skyward see, Sword's better. Basically what happens is the characters will... They never change facial expressions. Alan Wake does a couple times. Like he'll go between like happy and, and mad, but that's like all he's got. And basically what happens is they just open their mouth and bob their head back. But the game keeps, like, taking the camera and zooming in on their face. Like, uh -huh. it would be acceptable if that didn't keep happening, but they they make a point to keep looking at the face. So that's, like, my only pet peeve with Alan Wake. <laughs> Just a little Which, unrealistic, huh? It doesn't, it doesn't interfere at all with the gameplay. But, I mean, like, the story is believable in a fiction sense. 
Like, you can wrap your mind around it. And uh, it's just great. And it's episodic. Like, the game is, itself is episodic. Like, after... It's, it's like chapters, but at the end it says, like, in the next episode of Alan Wake. Uh oh. It's really yeah, I remember uh, some DLC coming out for it not too long ago. That was the writer. I've got both of them. They're they're both fantastic. Oh. So I mean, does this game like classify as horror or something? Or if you are in the right mindset, like the first time I played through it, I didn't even believe it to be a horror story. I just thought it to be like a great narrative. But then I, uh, like I, I started playing it again because I wanted to get in the mood for Resident Evil. Uh huh. Uh, so what I did was I got these headphones that I'm wearing now, and I cranked the volume way up, and I sat in a dark room and played it. Yeah, it can get pretty creepy. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Up the butt, Charizard. <laughs> Tiger, up your butt! And headshot. Oh. Oh! And... Don't worry, yeah, I'm a licensed chiropractor. Alright. I'm all set. Uh, spas and pistol. Yeah, I think I'm good. Until, you know, we get five steps ahead and have to start sniping. <laughs> I'm going to call him... Crunchysaur. Crunchysaur? Oh. You have located a dinosaur. Any ideas? Oh no, it's a door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlie, certified genius. <laughs> All right, you get on, I'll push. Wow, this is awesome. I got a rank up for opening the door. <laughs> nice. G-Mall. No. Nathan Drake only has one pushing speed. Oh, behind us, behind us. I'll use my shooting weapon. Okay, yeah, so I should have totally brought a different weapon. Rocking a shotgun? Yeah, and a your rifle? No, I had a, uh... Uh... Like a... Uh, what is this called? A Cal 7, there you go. It's like a uh, tiny AK-47 with no accuracy. Yeah, it's based on the AK-74U. This... Russia, baby. Yeah, that's right, I can headshot you. I play Call of Duty. Ow, ow, ow. I'm running out of ammo. Ah! Ah, whoa. Well, that was a lucky, uh... That grenade killed him and knocked you down at the same time. And freed you. It is the grenade of your... Oh. But, uh, but yeah, totally. If you find Alan Wake in, like, a bargain bin, which you probably will because it's... It's so underrated. Uh, you should totally pick it up. Also... Um, probably what you saw for that DLC recently is, uh, Alan Wake's American Nightmare is coming out, which is, uh -huh. it started off as Alan Wake, the survival multiplayer game, like, arc, yeah. like, uh, uh -oh. like, horde mode. Who needs a bro hug? You need a bro hug. Oh, uh, 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 no. No bro hug. Die. <laughs> yeah. But, uh. I've been playing against Ganon. Yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be like a uh, survival type deal, and uh, after a while they realize like, oh, we can throw some story in here, so they, they throw <laughs> the story in there. And, Don't you uh, love it when they put story in your video games? Yeah, I was really relieved because when they started doing this developer diary, they were like, yeah, it's going to be like, like a horde mode type survival, survive until dawn kind of deal. And, uh... I was Very worried. Minecrafty. The best part about uh, Alan Wake is the the story, but uh, no, they put story in it as well. 
My oh, only yeah. fear is that it's not going to have multiplayer. No. This will lead out to the street. If it doesn't have a multiplayer mode where you get to play as like the, the characters from Kickback available. from Alan Wake, then I'm yeah. disappointed because well, Alan, Alan Wake is not the only character who fights darkness. There's a whole bunch of them. It doesn't have multiplayer right now. Though. Whoa! Found yourself a new best friend, and I killed. Like my shirt. <laughs> really, it looks more like you liked your neck. Wanted to hug it right off. Uh oh. Got him. I am going down. Not if Militia Man has anything to say about it. Whew. British Militia Man. Deus Ex Bullets. <laughs> Whoa. So what was that you were saying about um, Naughty Dog being essentially done with Uncharted for now? I don't know if they're done with Uncharted. They've said like they want to keep working with Nathan Drake. But I'm glad that they're making The Last of Us instead of Uncharted 4. Yeah. Like I just couldn't help like... feel like they were tired of Uncharted at that point. So, no Uncharted 4. Legend of the Dragon Balls yet? Yeah, no. However, just throwing that idea out there, you know, Naughty Dog. I think it could work. However, I'm sure because Sony is so invested in Uncharted, they're going to find somebody to pick it up for them. <laughs> and not only that, it uh, did you hear that uh, The Last of Us is not going to be a zombie... Uh, Survival yeah. game? So what do they want to call it? Uh, um, I think it's like Mutants. But, I mean, it, it's got to be the same premise. It's a, it, it's a zombie game. Okay, so turret man and guy with a hammer. Just get behind cover. Ooh, tail sniper. Oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Come on, I shot this guy with like. Oh my god, that was so cool! Did you see that explosion kill that guy? Like I fun. shot it with a tail sniper. I shot his grenade out of the air. Ah. Uh, I hope we can see them in a replay. But at this point, I wish I was recording so we could like switch to Nate Cam. <laughs> Nate Cam, that's awesome. But yeah, reminds me. I need to. Uh, yeah. Bye bye, heavy. Grabbing you need to. Uh, you were saying you need to do something. Oh right. Need to show you. Oh, that's a grenade. <laughs> Hang on. I'm on my way. I was gonna say I need to show you the program I use now because it, it really does work wonders for um, recording the uh, PS3 in HD, as our viewers are sure to see. Yeah, well, I noticed that you were doing a lot of color comparison videos, or at least one of them. Oh yeah, I've actually uploaded a lot. I just haven't made any of them public yet. Right. But um. Watch out. Woo. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. I watched the grenade sit and cook up behind it. <laughs> he just wanted to see an explosion. It's okay, it's manly. But, uh, it's not affected by, like, the DRM or anything? Uh, no, it's not. It's a little Japanese program. Whoa, that is... Hold this for me. But, um, it's a, it's a Japanese program. It just kind of, uh, bypasses HTCP. Very nice. Yeah, I'm sorry, were you using that truck? <laughs> I should have asked first, I'm sorry. That's eh, alright, there are more. <laughs> oh, speak now! <laughs> and it comes with a chick. Nice driving. Did you know the cutter was bringing C4? No, no idea. No one tells me anything. I like her hair, but her soulless eyes are unsettling. That's how it was in Uncharted 2. It's a little better in this game. Yeah, she had like these black orb things in her eyes. Creepy. That's pretty awesome. We both had, like, practically the exact same amount of kills and only one death. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised. I think the last time we tried this, we died how many times at the end? Probably a billion. <laughs> well, a billion and one. More than I can count on two, on two hands. Let's see. How about we switch over to... Uh, Co-op arena. Oh, 
Let's see. Might need to cut a little bit of the audio. Yeah. All there right, let's see what we're up against. All right, so how about Flynn. Yemen? Great, my favorite. And, and Eddie? Yemen works. Oh, I was just that's what's on my screen, so I figured I'd say the name. Dude, have you played around with like your custom emblem kind of crap in this? Yeah, I have a skull with a uh, a right. with, like a red border. Statue. Friggin' Let's awesome. Um, right behind you. Wait, is it gonna tell us we need the? Yeah, I was gonna say I don't have this map, and it just let me select it. Lost city. So Which one I, is this? It's um. DLC or something? Yeah, it's from the Uncharted past map type thing. I don't molten ruins. I don't really love molten ruins. Dude, are you watching the kills of the week? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I was watching was... them before. It's some pretty awesome ones on there. Yeah, some guy was just pulling a ninja. <laughs> I still think mine should have made it on there. I shot Indeed. I shot a uh, a hammer grenade out of the air and killed someone with a that is gangster. With a top sniper how... nonetheless. How did they submit those? Just... I don't know. Uh, hey, nice jacket, nice helmet. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I wonder how they submit those, though. Uh, we'll have to look into that. Oh, so what is this? Just uh, survival? Yes. I figured it'll make it a little bit easier to talk. Yeah, hooray for not dying. Uh, G Mall. But yeah, in. And jump. In one day after people are listening to this, I'll be playing Resident Evil Revelations, and uh, I encourage, whoa, anybody who listens to this, to hunt me down on Nintendo Pals via PM or comment, and uh, gangster, get my uh, my friend code so we can play some, uh, oh, some Revelations, yeah, Rush Mode or whatever it's called. There's a new survival... It's kind of like, uh, go up in this, where you have to, uh, go through a, a scenario and get to the end. And just not die? Yeah. <laughs> That's generally a good goal. Whoa, no guy with a pistol. <laughs> treasure. Go get it. They drop the treasure. Yes. Ooh, I got a Pisces. I just call it fishy. You're a dick. <laughs> He's dead. See, what they don't get is they need to go out and buy our helmets. That's what's <laughs> losing, and that's why we're winning. These helmets officially make you a one man army. So, two men, that's like a two person army. <laughs> Three to one Marnie. There we go. But, uh, so but yeah, it, they don't get it. The helmet plus the uh, the leather jacket gives us plus three proficiency. <laughs> I'm earning double the XP right now, and they don't even know. Woo! Such a dork. Oh, hello. I was gonna say I'm such a boss, but you know, call it whatever you want. Gold rush. You're a boss when you're talking about games in front of gamers. You're a nerd when you're talking about games in front of girls. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. Oh, high school. Right. Oh. Gold Rush, so Big I guess bang. I'm supposed to... I'm sorry, go ahead. Theory? Apparently people like that show. Oh, hey man, how's it going? Falcon Punch. Yeah, I've now ended your lineage. I don't understand how people like that show. It's basically that '70s show with nerds. Yeah, with like one game, like one good gaming reference, maybe every 15 minutes. So twice a show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Focus. I got it. You're dead. You're dead. You're very dead. You know what gaming humor show needs to get a second chance? Code Monkeys. Never saw it, unfortunately. I just ranked really? it. Congratulations. Yeah, man, Code Monkeys was awesome. 
mean, granted, it was like 80% poop and boob jokes, but yeah. it was awesome. Which was actually a name of the of a podcast episode, as I recall. Yep, I think we were talking about Code Monkey or whatever. Oh yeah, you know what you guys were. I remember that. I, have, I remember I've, disagreeing. I've still yet to see that show. You got Netflix, man. Watch it. Oh, it's on Netflix. I'll I'll check it out. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of anime lately. Oh yeah, like what? I couldn't begin to tell you. Like, I subscribe to this website that lets you watch, like, everything they've got for 20 bucks a month, I think, or something like that. Or, tw no, 20 bucks a year. Oh, 20 bucks a year. I was about to say, 20 bucks a month. Watch yeah, I had this... anime. <laughs> I had this conversation with Andrew. He was like, 20 bucks a month? <laughs> but, um... I get it. You want to die. I've just been watching them all alphabetically, and I found some really funny ones and some really weird ones, and some uh -oh. really horrible ones, and so. Anything in particular you've, uh, taken a liking to? No. <laughs> um, no, like, there are a couple animes that I really, really like, but I, I wouldn't really go ahead and call myself, like, an, an anime fan. Not an otaku, huh? <laughs> like, I like Yu Yu Hakusho. Classic. Uh, Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagen. Short but cool. Um, oh, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, that's a classic. I can agree with that. As a matter yeah, of fact, I, bang. I, I tend to find that uh, animes that I can stand to listen to in English, uh -oh. I like the best. <laughs> and you, you have to show, and uh, Cowboy Bebop had some great voice acting. Steven Bloom. Up you go. Whoa, dude, you threw it right into the chest. Like a boss. If only it could go in that way. That would be a great achievement. Squish. I'm watching this guy stand still and whoa. <laughs> he just died. <laughs> oh right, I forgot all the leftover bad guys. Just die when the round ends. Oh no, they put the treasure in! Go! <laughs> <laughs> we have failed our duty. Hari Gari. <laughs> Quick cyanide tablets! But, uh, have you been playing any games lately? Um... Like I told you before, I've, I've been trying to give Battlefield another- Whoa, I just wall kicked off of there. I've been giving Battlefield another shot, trying to... Trying to kick up my proficiency with vehicles and that. It is incredibly difficult to, you know, get used to the jets. But, uh, my, my new goal in life is to become a top-class fighter jet pilot. That's cool. In Battlefield. <laughs> Other than that, um... I've actually gotten back into Oblivion, believe it or not. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I got a, I, I, I got a new laptop for school about a month ago. And I decided, what the heck? I have Oblivion on every other console in this house. <laughs> Why not put it on the laptop, too? So I did, thinking it wouldn't be able to run very well. And actually, it's, uh... It's run it started running very smoothly, so I just I started playing that, Oblivion. I take that exact same approach with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I have like Sonic 1, 2, 3 on everything I own. It's like why don't I have this why don't I have this on this console yet? I've only got it on every other one in the house. But uh Oblivion doesn't have a uh, multiplayer mod, does it? Um I never checked. It might, I mean Whoa, that's not good. I'd imagine they're doing one for Skyrim and from what I remember, it's pretty far along now. They released the uh, creation kit, didn't they? Uh, they were supposed to at the end of January, so they better have. They kept pushing it back. I, I could have sworn I saw a, uh, like a, a trailer for it. Oh, well, you're probably right. I haven't checked up on uh, the Nexus ah. in a couple of days. You just wanted to be friends. Oh! Instead, I will kick you, you to sleep! sleep. <laughs> Falcon. Oh no, I was just saying, um, 
I haven't checked up on the Nexus in a while, so. Oh, nice dance. I point and laugh. <laughs> like a boss. But, um, yeah, I haven't checked up on the Nexus in a while. So, yeah, it probably was released. I just know it was supposed to, supposed to be out by the end of the month. January, that is. And seeing as it's now February. Yeah. That's definitely a good thing though, because I used to I used to make item mods and quests and crap for uh, Oblivion back in the day, so might get back into doing that. Yeah, I was thinking to myself that uh, I might be able to get into that because I really I really do love Skyrim. Like, I I I was kind of indifferent to uh, Oblivion. Not Oblivion. Uh, well, Oblivion I just didn't like at first. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I I learned to like it on the PC. Um, and then, you know, I played all of the, the Fallout games by Bethesda, and those were fun, but I didn't, I didn't care about them at all. I, I genuinely care about the world of Sky in Skyrim. Good man. Like, I, I know all the characters by name. Like, if I looked at them, I could probably identify them. And, uh... Like, I've learned where all the secret stuff are, and, like, I want to collect everything and see every scenario. And Have you started the collecting the uh, Daedric artifacts? No. We'll see oh, the... man, you gotta get on that. I play on the PS3. Oh, yeah. If Sorry. I get to that point, the game gets so laggy that I can't even play it, which is why I recently rented it for the Xbox. Uh, and it was smooth as butter. It was great. But, um, yeah, I guess that's a step up, because you've been stuck in the PS3 for, wow, months now, hasn't it been? Yep, and uh, unfortunately, every time I go to buy Skyrim on PC, something else I need pops up. <laughs> like, I was going to buy it at one point with a gift card I got for Christmas, and I had to buy a keyboard, which broke. And just money. Nate, you're not going to believe this. There's a guy frozen in place over here. Oh, no, I swear. Oh, he died for me. Oh, now he died. <laughs> the guy with the yellow pants? Yeah, yellow pants guy. Well, he deserved it for wearing yellow pants. Reminded me of SpongeBob. Woo! Suspended in a state of limbo forever so that he could <laughs> finally understand that yelling, well, <laughs> yelling yellow pants. <laughs> wearing yellow <laughs> pants is uh, a fashion no-no. It's a sin. Man, I can't wait for us to see the Revelations, though. Oh, it's, it's coming out on Tuesday, right? Yep, this Tuesday. I was really hoping I'd be able to talk about it on this week's podcast, but, uh, actually, I'm kind of glad that there was a lack of news, because we got to do this, and this is pretty fun. Yeah, you know, I mean, we always have a lot of fun playing. Uh, uh oh I hear the, I hear the breathing. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Three and creepers. But, uh, we always have fun playing this. We really should do it more often. Yeah, I think maybe like uh, once a month we could do a video podcast like this. That'll be fun. Makes sense to me. I mean, this is a video game podcast, and oh, bullets to the head, up oh, and you die. He dared to bring rabbit into my lair. Falcon punch. Go get it. Ding. Oh. Wait, that's another Piscine, and yet it's silver, and it's not part of the Piscine set. What the heck? How many Piscine are in this game? I don't know. Madness. Well, far too many. I call shenanigans. Well, you enjoy the hordes of bad guys, so I'm gonna go throw the thing in the chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of running around in circles right now. Don't worry, I got it. Bam. Oh, wait. Look at that That's not the stuff. end of the round? Crap! Uh-oh. And thus, I die. <laughs> uh, they're all over me. Uh. Oh, there's so many.
See ya. And we cut to Nate Cam. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. We're experiencing some uh, technical difficulties. Sean died. Please stay on the line. Your call is very important to us. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Ah, uh, Sean, though? No? Your neck got snapped. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> There's a place. Oh shit. You think I care uh, about this piece of crap? Not you any. Uh, no, Drake. I just really, really want to kill you. Oh, so do I. Yeah, me too. Uh, who's gonna go first? How many lives have I cost us? Uh, we have 12 left. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Not, a big, not, too, not too much of a problem. At least now I'm next to you so I can protect you from the bad guys. You're gonna see just like a, a pile of bodies laying around your feet. What? That didn't kill him? Apparently not. Oh my god, I just saved your life from a grenade. <laughs> Much appreciated, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Wild West. Long shot. I feel vibrations. Yeah, you're, I can't do anything about it except stand in front of you. Oh god. <laughs> Duh. Giant shotgun, dude. Running, running, running. I'm so screwed. How's it coming? Run, 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 run. Sounds like I'm missing some fun. Just a grabber. Oh, that's not fun. Not at all.
I'll take that. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, okay, well, at the very least, I know what happened now. We've, we've got about 45 minutes here. If you want, we could just you could just like cut to a, a picture of the logo, let the audio run, and then just wrap it up real quick. We'll just edit in a, a, a an extra, as I like to call them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose that could work. All right, so uh, one sec. I mean, as long as the audio is recording, we might still use it. Yeah, I mean, well, we, we're gonna use the audio anyway. We want to see if that match was all that match got, you know, killed off or whatnot. Yeah, the reason, uh, the reasoning for um. Why the video feed cut out? It's my fault. I understand what happened. What happened? Oh, I forgot to uh, switch it off of uh, off of switch the the disk space off of my external hard drive. Oh, and it and ran, it ran out, out of memory. Ran out of space, and then that just cut the program off. And I did that before. Yeah, so that's what happened. And I just died. But good thing is I can see myself now. So <laughs> yeah, let's. I'm no longer dead weight. And then uh, we'll just wrap this match up. Okay, so, um... RB a hammer here. Let me just end the... Alright, well, I'd say that about wraps things up. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, you can comment, rate, and subscribe to us right here on YouTube. Or follow us on the forums at Nintendo Worlds, WePals.net. Uh, this match goes on for a little bit longer, so feel free to sit back and enjoy the rest. And thanks for joining Nate and I for EOTW, where every day is the end of the week. Take care.
Well fought, Drake. <laughs> you are the better man. Still little, but better. I just have better friends. Let's call him Flynn and Eddie. Fletty. <laughs> <laughs> 